Chapter 10, 1141 p.m. Now that my assignment to stop the execution has ended in such an unsatisfactory way, I decided to go see Lynn at the Justice Minister's office. Detective Jowd's story about this other motive, other murder, weighs on me heavily. Should I tell Lynn about it? I just don't know. This time Lynn isn't dead, but the atmosphere makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. Alright, welcome back Twitch, welcome back to YouTube, let's get back to just another game, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Lynn's not dead! Uh, what's she doing back there though, I don't know. So I just learned that Caddy is Japanese VA, oh that sucks. Was it COVID related? Because that was in the middle of the pandemic, or was it just natural causes otherwise? Lynn, what are you doing But Oh, suicide? Holy shit. Wow, that sucks hard. Lynn, what are you doing back there? Okay. So there is a dead body. Hi, Lynn. Eek! What kind of greeting is that? I mean, I know I'm a ghost and everything, but... Well, and? How did it go? Was Detective Jout still alive? He'd already been executed by the time I got there. I didn't manage to save him, but... You did? Oh, I'm so glad. Wait a minute, did you say but? I told Lynn about my adventure at the prison. About that other murder, though. I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cabanella arrested Detective Jowd? I can't believe it! Yeah, I feel the same way. I can't believe that wherever I go, somebody is always dead. Either you or someone else. Sorry about that. So who is that lying on the floor there? Oh, you noticed him, did you? That's the Justice Minister. The man who signed the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. He was already dead when I got here. Shouldn't you have called for help in that case? Hmm, I guess so. But I'm wanted, remember, for murder? I was hoping we could save him without me getting caught. We? Oh boy. Yeah, Lynn is our female protagonist. And as already been noted, I am usually chasing after a redhead. Well, since I had a drink. Hey, can you hear me? Hmm. He's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. Could you rescue him now while he's still unconscious? Instead of talking to him, I bet it'll be faster just to see for yourself what really happened. I mean, redheads are pretty great. Yeah, I bet you're right. Back we go then, to four minutes before his death. Four minutes before death, the minister's office. Emma! Oh, excuse me. What? Oh, it's him. <laughs> I guess you don't like him. All right. I'll do as you say. This is terrible.
Why doesn't she answer? Ah! And he just had a heart attack. Such a foolish man. Oh, you woke up? He's a contradiction. Contradiction? The more we search for the truth, the further into a dilemma we fall. The world of men is steeped in contradictions. If we choose this, we can't have that. If, this, if a man tries to have his medicine bottle and water pitcher too, he loses both. Oh, I don't know. To me, it looks like you could have had both those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died, such a foolish man. Or maybe I should say a pathetic man. That's the more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it yet. That the foolish and pathetic man is him. Is that what they call a contradiction? By the way, what's your name? Just call me a seeker of truth. Sidestep that one, Denny. Yeah, all the characters we've seen before will tie back into the story. All right. So. Emma. Oh, excuse me. Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. Who is this? How did you get this number? We have your daughter. Uh, who is this? Emilius Tudor? Emilius Tudor? Would a tutor call you at this hour? No. I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. My daughter, is she all right? Tell me she's all right. Here for yourself. Papa, help! I th I'm gonna be killed! What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demand known the other day. Oh, so it was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? I didn't do it because of your demand. I did it because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. They should be contacting me any minute now with the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You do best to remember that. Uh, and of course it goes without saying we're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. All right, I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. Do you have my word? Uh, I feel like I should stay here. Trace complete. We'll have that number at some point. Alright. This is terrible. A kidnapping, huh? Once again, I'm not sure I know what the word means. But it's apparently the cause of the minister's attack. Such a useless man. Huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes here. 
I better do something about that medicine. Okay, you would think we need to do something about the medicine, but there's nothing we can really do. We can examine it, and that's about it. So this minister stops the medicine's attack. Th this medicine stops the minister's attacks, huh? If I could, I'd spill them onto his desk right now. But unfortunately, I can't even open the cap. What a shabby excuse for a man. Huh? He wears his important-looking uniform and sits working at his stately desk. But what does he have inside? Nothing. A miserable, shabby excuse for a man. I think you've already said quite enough. Alright, who's he talking to now? I have to call my wife. I have to see if it's true. Maybe they called the wrong person. This minister doesn't accept the truth easily. He's morally bankrupt. Okay, now you're taking it too far. His wife won't answer for some reason. Hmm. A wife who doesn't answer her phone. I think I know who that is. A morally bankrupt man de deserves a morally bankrupt wife. Why doesn't that man understand that? Now I'm sorry I ever brought this guy along. Line isn't working. Okay. Why doesn't she answer? Alright, we're not gonna be able to do anything about the medicine bottle. What we can do is we can help him with the water pitcher, and that's gonna buy us some time. So now I just need to wait. Uh-oh, here it comes. His worry and anxiety have, have reached their peak. Such a disgraceful man. Huh? If one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple, why doesn't he understand? But there wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet though, I can't give up now. Madison, all right. He's gonna knock his medicine away. Water. There you go. Water. All right. We've bought ourselves some time. There. That should help. At least now he's had some water. He's still breathing, apparently. But he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man. Huh? He can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives his life. Okay. At least now I bought some time to get his medicine to him. Bought quite a bit of time. Alright. I think we're gonna have to flap. We need to get up to the fan, I'm pretty sure. We can examine the picture and the documents. Oh yeah, Lynn dies the most in this game. <laughs> I think she's got the record. She's at least got four. I don't remember if she's gotten more than that. The minister's fate has changed, but the situation still seems the same. I can't move anywhere now. Did I miss something? Oh, while well, I was drinking the water. Maybe I should start over from the beginning. Okay, it's because the pitcher. Oh, wait. Okay, it's because the pitcher. He didn't stand a ghost of a chance. Hi, Eric. It's because he lifts the pitcher and that gets to the fan.
what I needed. Now I can get to the fan. Is this Supernatural Phoenix right? Pretty much, yes. It's uh, made by the same developer as Phoenix Wright. Or the, or the creator of Phoenix Wright. It's really good. It's one of my favorite games. At least now I have some water. Okay. Still breathing, but he looks far from recovered. All right, that's what I needed to do. Get to the paper. Definitely has the same vibe. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty much exactly as you described. It's, it's Supernatural Phoenix Wright. Okay, time for the next step. Now about this medicine bottle. If the minister's gonna make a full recovery, I'm going to deliver this thing to him. But how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? I guess I'll have to use my head instead. All right, I have the sword to swing, the armor to raise, the curtain to close. I can rock the hanging basket. I can undo the frame hammer. I think I want to rock the hanging basket. It's got fruit in it. And now that might be enough. To swing the sword. No, not quite. That was so close. If the swing had just a little more reach to it. Okay. Let's undo this then. Time is passing. Lower the arm. Close the curtain. Raise this arm. Pretty light frame for its size. There's sure a lot of things that can fall down in this room. He's the fallen man. Huh? He deserves to have everything come tumbling down on his head. I don't know about fallen man, but you keep talking, but you talk about him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key is what order the objects are dropped in. Alright, so let's see. I can spend this. Got it. Okay. All right. So yeah, the order is definitely important. Hmm. This is one of the puzzles I don't remember exactly. 
I am gonna have to go ahead and restart. Alright, now that I'm on the fan though, I don't have to do it from the very beginning at all. It was just getting to that fan that was important. this. What if I rock the basket now? might be something. That was really loud. That urn is a lot heavier than it looks. It's made of some pretty thick iron. I wouldn't want to drop that on my foot, but I don't have feet, so I don't have to worry. Okay, so now if I... Undo these. I can make a ramp leading to... I think what I want to do is I want to get the globe on the sword on the left. that the way I want it. Damn it, I, I did want to turn it. Fuck. I couldn't remember. I did want to turn it. Ninety percent of the idea there. Now I am a little bit concerned about how I'm going to deliver deliver the globe from one end to the other, but one problem at a time. I do have quite a bit of time to work this puzzle out still. Alright, undo that frame. Spin. Drop. the next step here. Right. Hmm. 
Okay, I don't think I remember this puzzle very well. Hang on a sec. Pause. One moment. There's one thing that I'm not getting about this. Let's see here. What's the missing hint I'm, I'm not remembering? Oh, I got it. Okay. All right. It's not a ramp I'm going for. It's not a ramp I'm going for. That's where I'm, I'm going astray. do is I'm going to make a seesaw and launch, launch the globe. That's what I'm trying to do. I have the right basic principle idea, but not the right execution to do it. Time is passing, of course. The urn is pretty light. Once an urn is dropped, there's no getting it back. I guess I better think carefully about what I drop and when. All right, so now I do that. Now we now we're cooking with gas. This is what we have to do. Turn the hanging basket. Rocket. That's gonna knock the heavy urn and launch the globe. There we go. Now we're set. Spin! My medicine. Uh, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't take it like that. There. The medicine, the minister finally took his medicine. I think maybe he even took too much medicine. Such a greedy man. Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? Ah, uh, cut the guy some slack. There, see? <laughs> Fate averted. We cleared the too much medicine challenge. Wow, that was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope he learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. And so, the Justice Minister is now back to life. But the furrows on his brow are even deeper now. And apparently, our Lady Detective is the present cause of those furrows. Look, Detective. He was sentenced after a fair trial, and the man himself wants to be executed. But there is no evidence. All they had was his, was his own confession. But it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back. I told you I don't want anybody coming near me. Mr. Minister, please listen to me. 
I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? So please, please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. But... When he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out. Tonight. No. Oh. But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I was simply performing my duty as Justice Minister, that's all there is to it. Is that so? Lynn looks like she's about to rip into the Justice Minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little signal. Swing! Sissel, there you are! It sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is! Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all. The minister has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has a very good reason for it. A good reason? I told Lynn about what I'd learned about the kidnapping. Kidnapping? They kidnapped the justice minister's daughter? Apparently. Oh my goodness. But still. That's still no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the justice minister then? Hmm, the poor man, I hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way. Do you think you could carry me? Oh, right. Sure. Not very handy, is it having no legs? <laughs> Behold the sword! What are you going to do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it. Oh, this? Uh, pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, and please pardon me if this is a silly question. Were you talking to somebody just now? But of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing as ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? Ah! No, there's no such thing. This is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Don't you remember me? My dream is talking to me! Huh. So now I'm a dream, huh? <laughs> uh, remember you got your medicine over there? Maybe you move that a little closer? Mr. Minister? We know. We know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. Your medicine, your medicine, your medicine, medicine. Take your damn medicine. Oh, what am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped. If he isn't executed tonight, my daughter, my Emily. But what if the execution isn't the right thing to do? Come on, Lin. If you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? Maybe you don't need to do anything. Maybe I sh Maybe, uh... His dream should talk to him a bit. We have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by gathering info on the kidnapping. And the only way I know how... Terrify a person! We meet again, Mr. Minister. What? I've never seen you before. In any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't bother me when I'm awake. Uh, I'm not a dream. Looks like it's just a waste of time trying to talk to this guy. I think you're right, stubborn Justice Minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head.
don't you think there's something fishy about this kidnapping thing? Fishy? I mean, the demand is to carry out an execution that was already set to be carried out. It's just like the minister said. There's no need for such a kidnapping. Hmm, you might be right. Are you talking to somebody again? No, no. There's no such thing. No such thing. I'm a realist. I'll never believe in them. Not in the existence of ghosts. Not in this escape from prison and not in this kidnapping. Hmm. This realist is running away from several very real facts. At high speed, too. Anyway, let me try and find out more about this kidnapping. After all, I know where the kidnappers are. Oh, that's right. You have their telephone number. I think I'll go see what those kidnappers look like. All right. If I must, he's not going to be any help. Let's see. I believe it's this one. Yeah. I really should pay the kidnapper's hideout a visit. After all, if we want the Justice Minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery, but I'm not the kind of guy that can abandon a little lady in trouble, so I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. A very long chapter actually comes to a fairly short one, all things considered. We get our new illustration, we get our new music, we watch the Justice Minister having a heart attack, which I'm not sure I want that music. But anyway, we're going to call it an episode for YouTube here at Twitch. We'll continue in just a moment. We'll do one more episode tonight. YouTube, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, send me comments. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Twitch will continue in just a moment.